What's up guys? We are taking a look at another Spider-Man figure today, a Marvel Legends figure that I actually do care about because I have been a long fan of this particular version of Spider-Man from when I was a kid. So today we're taking a look at Scarlet Spider. This is the Kane Scarlet Spider. We have got him in that red and black outfit with the stingers and the whole deal. We've got him in the window, standard Marvel Legends box. We got Spider-Man logo down there on the bottom. We got a product shot, the lineup, the write-up, the Build-A-Figure, the whole deal. So let's pull him out and take a look. All right, guys, here he is out of the packaging, our Scarlet Spider. And this is one that I'm personally not too attached to. I don't know a lot about this particular iteration of Kane, this particular iteration of Scarlet Spider. None of that. This is kind of outside of my comics knowledge. But when I first looked at this wave, you know, I said I was only going to get Doc Ock. This was a close second because I kind of thought he looked cool and he's on a body that I'm a very big fan of. Of course, I ended up buying every single one of them anyway, but this is one I was really looking forward to and I do have a lot of good things to say about this figure. Mostly my only real gripes are going to come down to some odd paint QC issues. So we're going to go through all the normal stuff. We're going to look at articulation first, of course, and he's basically what you expect to get on this body. So this is the same kind of body that we've had with like the more recent Spider 2099, for example. So we've got the butterfly joints, which, you know, you know, I'm a big fan of at this point. So we've got the head that can swivel left and right, down, up, uh, not really a lot of bobble action. Arms can go all the way out. They can spin all the way around. We do have those butterfly joints. A lot of movement there, especially backwards. So you can go really far back. We do have bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and it's okay. It's not great. It's still only about 90, eh, 95, 100 degrees there. It's pretty good though. We do have hinges and rotation at those wrists. Ab crunch, he can go back that far. He can go forward quite a bit. Waist twist, legs can go out only that far. Kick forward, kick back a little bit, thigh cut, double jointed knees. And then of course we've got the boot cut, shin swivel. We've got rocker and hinge at the ankle. So for the most part, he is pretty well articulated. He's on a more agile body that I truly am a big fan of. The only real thing that I don't like about this is that he kind of jiggles a little bit. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not like he's flopping around or anything and he's not unsteady because of that. It's just kind of a thing I've noticed as I've been posing him around a bit. Now, in terms of the overall look and feel of this guy, he is really basic, but at the same time, that doesn't mean it's a bad design. I think it's a cool design. I actually like the way this figure looks. And that was one of the main reasons why I actually did want to get a hold of this figure, even though I don't really know a ton about his current version. But the figure is, you know, again, it's pretty basic. He is just cast in red plastic pretty much through and through. There's mostly just black paint on this guy. So you've got red all the way up the legs, all the way on the chest. He is uh, got the black spider emblem here. And there's actually some odd paint blurring is a way to say it, maybe, on the chest there, on these spider legs, on the left of the screen, his right. And then we've got the red spider emblem on the black on the black side, which is on his back. And then we have got some paint thinning, I guess, as a, as a way to say that. It's uh, something that I've seen recently with some other figures is that these designs, like it's like they need another coat of paint, honestly. Uh, I can see the black right through there. And then I've got some red showing through here on this seam on where the, uh, the shoulders meet on the torso area. So it's kind of some nitpicky things, but there's really not a lot to, to really review here. So it's mostly, he's got, a, he's got two different colors on him, and where some of those colors meet, they don't work out, out so well. We do have the painted fingertips. He's got those clawed fingers. We have the big stingers that come out. And this is something I'm not too sure about it. I mean, I, I did do a little research on him, and I guess he gets these when he becomes tarantula for a while. And he's got these stingers that can come in and out of his hands. So we'll talk about what they do to uh, to change this look around a little bit in a minute. He does have this big black head, which I think looks really, really nice. Something about the simplistic design of just the the matte black head with those red red eyes in there. I do have a little a uh, little bit of red bleed, like kind of in between the eyes. It's really, really hard to notice. But again, like I said, there's only very minor things to talk about here because he's so uh, basic in design, red and black, and then of course some brown here. But in general, outside of those little nitpicky things, I do think he looks really, really cool. Uh, I am very much a fan of this body, very agile, very muscular, um, very much a, you know, nice agile body for a not so small guy, but not a huge guy either. So, you know, you've got your pizza Spider-Man, really slender Spider-Man. And then we've got this body that I think just works exceptionally well for some of your slightly bigger, yet still very agile characters. I'm really glad they use this body for this guy. 
Now, as far as accessories goes, this guy has a few. We have got, in lieu of the stinger hands, if you want to swap them out, you do have a set of normal fists. So I've got one here, I've got one in right now, and this is probably how I'm going to display them. I like the idea of having one in, one out. Just standard fists with the black fingertips painted. And then the big well, not necessarily big, but different accessory that we've got here is going to be this extra head sculpt. And we've seen this guy before with, uh, say, the Cosmic Spider-Man figure. So the Cosmic Spidey, Captain Universe style Spider-Man. It's just a Peter Parker style head sculpt. And I think it looks really nice. It's just as well done here as it was there. The only real difference is that we have a very different paint scheme. This guy is uh, either incredibly seasick or zombified or something. You know, there's something dark going on with Kane here. And I, I dig it. I don't think I'm ever going to use this head. You know, it's kind of one of those things where I like it in theory, but it's not going to really go on my shelf, but that's not a knock either. Uh, he has those pupilless eyes, so he looks kind of dead inside, which I think looks really nice. The beard is painted well, the mustache is painted well. So if you want this option, it is there for you, and Hasbro uh, delivered on it pretty well, I'd say. So overall, I pretty happy with this figure. It does have, you know, it's kind of odd QC paint mishaps here and there, but those aren't big enough to make me really be upset about them. They're very minor. You can't see them unless you're really up close either. Uh, I dig the body they used. I like this design for Scarlet Spider, even though I don't really know a great deal about him again, but I like the, the look of the figure. He'll go well on a shelf with a bunch of other Spider-Men, and for some reason, that's kind of a thing I've been going after, even though I've said previously I'm not huge into Spider-Man, but when a cool Spider-Man figure comes out, I'm pretty much right there to scoop him up. And and that's what happened here. No real backstory for me to care about. I just like the way this particular iteration of Kane looks in general in figure form. So that's going to do it for this look at the Marvel Legends Scarlet Spider figure from Hasbro. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time.